the focus of attention. Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. In which stage of your walk with the Lord are you currently in? Maybe in the beginning there was a lot of excitement, the heart was burning for the word of God, for him. But now there seem to be so many troubles, loneliness, no more songs of praise and thanks. Instead, so many doubts, difficulties coming up, tired and challenges and sometimes almost want to give up. That is from the enemy. That is one of the tricks when she tries to deceive us. Let's not put our focus on that. Definitely, let's not listen to the enemy. Let's not listen to the devil. Coming with great lies and deception, trying to deceive us trying to steal our focus and our attention on other things. We can learn from other people, but we should also not put our major attention to them, not even on ourselves, not on the own strengths nor weaknesses. The major focus of attention should be on God himself, on Jesus and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, from there, we get real strength, we get power, we get comfort, help, guidance, patience, all the things we need, encouragement, also clarity in uncertain questions. To where do we put our attention? Whoever puts the focus on God does not get disappointed. Psalm 34, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. The oppressed look to him and are glad. They will never be disappointed. The helpless call to him and he answers. He saves them from all their troubles. His angel guards those who honor the Lord and rescues them from danger. Proclaim with me the Lord's greatness. Let us praise his name together. I will praise him for what he has done. May all who are oppressed listen and be glad. Let's pray. Lord, we praise you. We proclaim your greatness. Thank you that where we have prayed, you have answered. And you also know our remaining doubts and worries, fears, anxieties. Pray that you may fill us with your Holy Spirit, that you may answer, that you may guide us. Forgive us where we focus and put our attention on the wrong things, sometimes even on the devil when we are not careful, the lies, the things where we get deceived, which seem to be right, but actually are wrong. Help us to have clarity and help us to learn from your word. May you guide us throughout this life. We praise you. You help all who are oppressed, who are in difficulties, who are in challenges, who have lost the burning heart, who have lost the first love. Pray that you may fill us with your Holy Spirit and guide us. To you be all praise and glory and honor forever. Amen.